Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Pencil here. Today I'm gonna sketch uh, with charcoal. I have here white charcoal. I got a poster stick for the darker areas. A couple of soft synthetic brushes. Two charcoal pencils. One is medium, the other the other one is soft and I have a knitted eraser here okay I stick this one to the end of one of my brushes just to erase from a distance and this is pr pretty comfortable for me okay let's start sketching I got the image pretty big on my screen okay here's gonna be the top the hairline and the bottom of the chain okay. what I always do uh, I try always to look for proportions the cannon okay that means that the first thing that I could do is see if I uh, I can split the face in three portions okay it, it looks like she fits those proportions which is pretty good One second, one second. Okay. Now the center line of the face around here, the overall shape. I just just straight lines for to draw the overall shape. Step back, I check out okay one more thing that I'm gonna do is check out negative spaces for example all this area here all this dark area where we can see is here okay I'm squinting down my eyes and I could do the same here on the shadow on the mandible the cast shadow from the mandible check out the the shape you see a triangular shape that's pretty good okay now for example uh now i'm gonna check out again proportions if we uh we have here the eyebrows and the bottom of the nose here if we split this in three portions three equal portions we usually find that the eyes are set on top of this line okay you find about this everywhere just the cannon the Loomis method is pretty good for, for this, for to study proportions. Okay. Hello, Nolan. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying. I'm uh, just trying. I'm squinting down my eyes and just trying to simplify what I see. For example, this eye, I see something like a triangular shape. I can do that. For the other eye, yeah, I see something more, more like this. Okay. Now, when we draw eyes, uh, we can just uh, use a, a, a basic shape. That's gonna be some kind of diamond shape, for example. It would be something like this. I, could, I, I do this a lot when I draw. I start with this, and then I make a curve here, a curve here. I draw the tear duct and the eye, the iris. And I got something pretty close to an eye, okay? Uh, obviously, it's something pretty, uh, I mean, no, no, no details at all, it's something simple. That I can start building up on top of that with more and more details. One thing that I gotta check out the distance between the eyes, there is, is one eye. Here, the bridge of the nose is kind of, you know, the, the tear duct here is kind of behind, you know, it's hidden by behind the nose, the bridge of the nose. That means we can measure from here to the tear duct and repeat from the tear duct to the corner of the eye. Obviously, 
those are proportions, just regular proportions. You gotta check out with the photograph. If you see that the uh, that fits, that you know the marble face fits those proportions, perfect. Okay. If not, yeah, you gotta just make changes. Like maybe the model has bigger eyes, smaller eyes, you know, anything. Nolan saying, trying to keep up with you. Oh, you're drawing. Oh, that's pretty good, Nolan. Okay. Let's see. Now, uh, one thing that is pretty common when you study on any school of art, something that I learned that the first day which that day I remember that day pretty clearly it was measuring you know I was introduced to do this and using my my pencil uh, to check out how tilted is you know the, or is the nose or the face or anything okay and at some point you got used to basically doing that check out how tilted are things just without using the pencil anymore but it's more for me now it's like I compare that with the frame of the photograph you know the contour of my paper anything like that I can see that the nose here is kind of straight very cool here's a little bit tilted and then it goes like like that okay at the same time that I'm doing this I'm gonna start checking for alignments for example this side of the nose if I trace a line up it's gonna align with what with the tear duct or pretty close to the tear duct the same this side of the nose okay now you can use your pencil and put it on top of the photograph because that that's something that we used to do when we draw from life okay and that's pretty useful because we got used to do this and if one day you're gonna draw from life you already have, let's say, the tools, some of some tools, at, let's say, you know, and you're going to find out that it's pretty useful to use your pencil to check out doing this, doing this, all those alignments and all of that. For the position of the mouth, okay, I we usually find the mouth, the bottom of the mouth, halfway from the nose to the chin. If you check out my channel, this is something that I repeat in every video. Obviously, this is about repetition, you know, practice. There is no more information. I gotta just say the same information over and over. And uh, I think that's, that, that helps everybody. Because for me, as a, when I was a student, that was the same. It was in every drawing the same again and again, again and again. Until just by practicing, practicing, we started to get better, okay? let's say here's the, the halfway I check out I can see the whole mouth here mm, I think it's pretty close to the nose yeah, maybe it's a little bit down okay and maybe yeah I gotta move the bottom of the mouth a little bit down that means that this 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 measurement that that it usually halfway you know it's not working for her face and I'm not saying that this proportions works for every face no that's not the case maybe one face is gonna fit those perfect proportions out of a thousand drawings yeah maybe who knows maybe less okay I'm going to start shading a bit. I'm planning to draw for an hour. That means that I'm not going to get into smaller details. You know, I'm going to try to get the likeness, but in an hour is, uh, I mean, I think I can get close, but no, pretty sure it's, it's not going to be perfect. 
anyway after the life is changed I'm gonna continue working my drawing on my own time just slowly slowly like I used to do sometimes I, I continue drawing just like 20 minutes one day then after a week another 20 minutes I'm stepping back a bit. I work sit. I mean, I'm, I'm more like leaning back. I compare. Okay, that's what I love to have. Photograph and drawing at the same time. You know, it's easy to compare. Let's see. I'm checking. Okay, okay. Looks like the eyes are a little bit more tilted, or something's not okay with the side of the face hello Mervat thank you hello Janas okay yeah, something's not okay here I, I live on, on YouTube. It's my drawing channel. You find it like this. Just write in uh, C Z Art. But, okay, I think I got. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm live on. Instagram and on Facebook. Okay, I'm gonna start using my my hands. I love to start, you know, it's kind of faster. And obviously, I want this kind of sketchy effect. I don't want a lot of details. Okay, hola Sergio. Oh, uh, Facebook. Uh, hello, Ginald from saying hi from Philippines. Hello Sharon. Okay, I'm going to what I do first is I do this. You know, because I, I have obviously uh, some uh oil on my fingers. And that for sure that's that could ruin my paper. Okay, I do this. Uh this is pastel. I do this. I'm gonna get my fingers black. Okay. I think it's good for a bit, a bit more. I'm trying to do the same with charcoal, but you know, it looks like uh, it's softer. Pastel is softer. Okay. Oh, first I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna soften a little bit some some of the graphite. Uh, sorry, the charcoal. If with charcoal, if you make a mistake, you don't need to erase that much. You know, because just with a brush, it, it could even leave some landmarks there. That's gonna be okay. But, but obviously uh, that's what I could do, but if you don't like it, those length, see those length marks, just use the needed eraser, just like that, it's going to be pretty easy just to erase, okay? Oh, 
or Denali saying how much that charge. Okay, uh, here uh, I, I got a, a little box here. You know, I know so many countries who have different materials. You got, I think, uh, uh, oh, thank you, Omiyak, Omiyak 2826. I got this. This is here. You know, I live in Peru. And it's just one, let's say, one type of charcoal. Just that. This could be like, I don't remember, $2, I think. Yeah, $2, $2. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, $2. Okay, I'm going to continue just doing this. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, I'm going to do something more. I'm going to just do this here. I know this area is going to be dark. It's just like putting down paint on my paper. Like, I'd imagine, imagine that this is a canvas. And then I pick up from this and start doing this. Okay, remember that basically we end up kind of toning or rendering the whole paper. The only portion of the paper that we're going to see just white, the, or the white of the paper, that's going to be maybe just the highlight on the eye, the eyes, and the highlight on the nose, the tip of the nose, cheekbone, and the lips. Yeah, in this case, I don't see, I see obviously light on the cheekbone, you know, but it looks like the highlight on the face, the lightest light, you know, is, is on the tip of the nose. That's going to be, that's going to be the only, the only portion of the paper, yeah, with the highlight on the, yeah, on the lip, uh, highlight on the iris, that's going to be the only, the only areas that we got to just preserve white. That means that we need to shade a lot. For me, for example, that was the difficult part about drawing. When I was a student, I used to kind of, I don't know, but it was like, I almost ended up with a lot of, of my paper, a lot of white on my paper, a lot of, a lot of the paper, you know? And it took me a lot to get used to shade more, more, more. One thing that, that helped me with getting darker and darker, it was, it was always checking uh, if on my drawing I started to see the highlight on the face, that was an indication for me that was getting closer to the darker values. Okay? And if I didn't see any highlight, it was just for me just to continue shading and shading. Yeah. Remember you can pick up a value scale. Okay, and that tells you that, for example, that this is not white, this is 10%. Uh, imagine that this is white. That white is going to be just here, tip of the nose, highlight on the eye, and highlight on the, the lip. Now, that means that all the other the values in the face are going to be this, 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 this. Okay. Now I'm explaining this because that was the tricky part for me to learn. Obviously, not just that, you know, uh, about drawing, all, all of that together, you know. But those, those, what I'm explaining now, this thing about highlights and all of that, that's values. And, and you know what everybody says out there. Value skin. That values everything, you know, especially when we draw. Obviously, when we draw, everything is about values. <laughs> yeah? This uh, pastel is pretty nice, you know, I, I don't pressure that much. I got a lot of, a lot of this. And I just this to continue shading. From time to time, I'm gonna use a paper just to get rid of some oil. Let's 
pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make it darker here. Not getting close to the edge yet. Uh, okay, no, I, I, I'm thinking close enough when I'm trying to say that. Maybe I'm gonna just narrow the face a, a bit here. Maybe, not sure. Since I got the photograph, you know, the same size of my drawing on the screen, I think that's gonna be pretty nice for all the people that wants to draw along with me or draw along with the video. You know, this one is gonna stay on my channel, of course. Oh, hello, Ramos Design Art Studio on Instagram. Squinted on my eyes, uh, I can see that all this side is darker. I mean, I'm cleaning my, my, my fingers a lot, I mean, so often because remember that we start to sweat. And that's gonna just ruin the paper. <coughs> Keep squinting down my eyes. Or in case somebody's just doing the same that I'm doing. Uh, at the end, it's, when it's about values, you can get, you know, to darken up the values using just the charcoal, just graphite, uh, this thing, stamp, you know, anything. Yes. You're gonna get the same point. I'm going to start adding a few details just in a minute because what I want is this, like having like a ghosty drawing, everything is, is pretty soft. Okay. I keep squinting, checking, you know when I say checking, but I mean it's comparing. When I compare, what I usually do is move my eyes really fast between the photograph and my my drawing. That's pretty easy, <coughs> that's pretty easy when you have both the same size. Sorry. Okay.
Tipo 52 maiores. Uhum. Bem. Agora Deus continua shading. I'm just checking the light mint. We'll make it darker here. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna start using charcoal pencil. This one I have is medium, and this one is soft. Okay, and I start using this one. No pressure in too much. I, I want to be able to soften. Stepping back, I'm gonna darken up here. I'm gonna see some definition on the contour of the face. Okay, I think that's much better.
Check out the mouth. Uh, yeah. Looks like um, here the shadow here on the, the edge of the mouth is pretty close to be aligned with the nose. And the other, the other con the other corner, the other corner of the mouth is aligned up with the iris, kind of around here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to darken up the shadow here a bit more. She has a really pretty squarey mandible. Yeah. See the neck, neck, neck here, here. Ah. Okay, I need more shadow here. Okay, here. I, I do this just to put down uh, this pastel here, and then I pick up from here, and I do this. I found this pretty nice because, you know, it's, it's just like I don't have a lot of this, you know, just enough to darken up softly. It's easier to control. I don't know about powder, you know, charcoal powder. I uh, maybe tried something like that when I was a student. I don't remember, it's been, you know, so many years. But I uh, maybe if I don't remember, maybe I didn't like it, maybe it was difficult to control it. You know. I don't even remember. But what I remember is that at that time when I was a student, I was uh, uh, I don't know, maybe my 18th year, 20s, and uh, maybe maybe if I did I I tried something I didn't like it, I just moved to a different material. With time, I learned to like persevere, continue with one material again and again, try again and again, not give up. But that was with time, you know. When, when at the first year on the School of Art, in the drawing 
on drawing, you know, we were introduced to different materials. You know, for me, I thought it was just about my graphite, but it was like, uh, I remember the first thing that we tried, it was uh, this, this is kind of a brown powder that you it works like watercolor. You use water, but you get like kind of, the color is kind of burnt sienna, I don't remember the name, but it's, it's pretty nice, you know, but just like watercolor, difficult to control. It was pretty nice. Uh, I remember I didn't get nice results, but just education, you know. They put you to try different, different things. That was a difficult one, and pretty sure one of the other things that was charcoal powder. Okay, let's see. I think I need to darken up here this eye. I uh, don't have definition here, as you can see. Because I'm not so sure, maybe it's going to be a little bit to the left, to the right. I gotta wait. It's kind of building up the face, all the face at the same time. Okay. And comparing, and then at some point I'm going to just add a little bit of definition to the eye. When, um, you know, I will be sure to... Uh, about the position of the eye. Right now, right now, it's just like I gotta just wait. Okay. I'm gonna make this image a little bit smaller. Okay, there. I think I got the shape, it looks like the, the width of the face. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like I got on my drawing, but it looks like on, on, on the photograph she's, her, her face is wider. You see? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know, I'm gonna just draw the eyebrows. I don't like the f I don't I don't like how the face looks without the eyebrows. Okay, a little bit of the eyebrows now. Oh, this one, this one. This is the softer one. That looks better. Okay, I'm trying to see the highlight on the nose. That's pretty good for shading. You see? You will see. You will see how it looks like a highlight here and here too. I'm gonna knock down this a bit. No, I'm gonna keep it there. Okay. Mostly this one. Okay. Now I got my knitted eraser here. Do this. Just make 
raised like that. Okay. And after erasing, if you don't like those sharp edges that you're gonna get with the needed eraser, you can use just any soft brush. It could be any brush, okay? It's just soft. In my case, I use round brushes. But if, if I use a, a flat brush or a fielder brush, it's gonna be the same. <clears throat> okay, let's work on the nose now. Just making this darker slowly, you know, little by little. Now I'm working on the shape of the mouth. Okay, to get the likeness. Uh, obviously, we always try to get the likeness, you know. But sometimes we won't get it. But that's okay. No, here's the, the let's say that now I'm starting to pay more attention to the likeness. When I think I got the proportions, when I think I got the position of the mouth, the values are closer. All this time, obviously, I've been copying the photograph, trying to stick to what I see as much as possible. Uh, here I'm gonna uh, try to get uh, let's say smaller details that's gonna be just about hair face like the shadow here that should be darker or the shadow here you know anything that we see that is just about hair face any particular thing that it could be about in this case the, you know the mandible The nose, anything that you see. Now, obviously, to see more uh, about things that could be off or that could be about about the face or anything, we could just uh, reverse flip the photograph. For that, we can use a mirror, or take a photograph and flip it. But that's something that we must do. It helps a lot. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm comparing right now. Mm, I gotta work on the eyes if I wanna get the likeness. And the forehead, I think, is too big. But anyway, slowly, slowly.
and as I just targeting up shadows, trying to get it, I'm trying to get the shape. I raise the highlight on the eye. I'm gonna just put it back again. I think it was here. Yep. Oh. oh, this is a pastel. Pastel, pastel pencil. Darken up here. I'm using pastel right now. I forget the box of this, but I, I bought a box with 24 colors. All of them come in just small, you know, the short sticks. Yes, usually the pastel sticks are, you know, the ones that I just I, I got are all of them are medium. I don't get any, any soft, soft pastel. It's pretty nice, you know. Definitely this is darker. I use it because it's darker than charcoal. I mean, than the charcoal that I use, because with the charcoal that I use with this one, I cannot get to those, those darks, you know. Uh, if I got those ones, if I soften with my fingers or with the brush, I'll be wiping off the, the charcoal. That's why to the darks I always use, I mean, not always, but when it's about me sketching, I always use this pastel. And when I want a more, let's, let's say, more detail, or I want to spend more time, I could use graphite, I could use matte graphite, okay, on top of this charcoal.
Yeah, for details, this is pretty difficult to do with this. With for details, for details, it's always better uh, the charcoal pencil. But pastel pencil could be a good work, pretty good too. Too dark. Just did the, the turn up too dark. sharper and up here a little soft Be darker here. Okay, a little bit darker. This the, this shadow that she got on the nose. We gotta be sure to to get that shadow. I'm gonna raise the tip of the nose. See it, see if I got the highlight. Yeah, I think I see the highlight on the nose. That's good.
Let's see if I can make it darker here. Maybe the shadow on. Okay, no, I think it's okay. Mm. Yeah, I need to sh to soften some edges. For example, here, here, here. I need to raise some lights. <clears throat> okay, let's see. This eye has to be a little bit darker. Darker here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurry up a little bit. You know, today we have my Patreon account. Oh, we, uh, I have a. Uh, draw a long sessions on my Patreon account check out my link on the description box we draw every Thursday from 6, 7 to 10 p.m. at night and Tuesdays we have human figure painting in an hour we're going to start in an hour my Patreon account too. I think the forehead is a little bit darker. I need to light up. I could use a brush as an eraser. You know, kind of wiping off. I do this, I wipe off the, the charcoal. It's difficult to wipe off a pastel, but unless we can wipe off a little bit of the charcoal. That helps a bit, you know, when it's about erasing.
<coughs> ok hello Gary welcome hello Omar El Auli hello Tio I think I'm getting closer with the likeness, yeah? Okay, I gotta move this shadow here. I gotta move it there. Oh, there. I have a doubt there about the shadow. Anyway. <coughs> Anyway, that I have this charcoal and pastel on my hands from time to time, what I do is I clean my my hands with paper, you know, because you're gonna notice that uh, I don't know, I don't notice that uh, usually, but when I draw, I notice that from time to time I, I sweat and I start feeling, you know, the sweating on my fingers. Maybe it's obviously that's something that happens naturally, we don't even realize about that. But it becomes kind of pretty clear, and you know, because maybe because we have all the powder, I have all the powder on my fingers. Okay, let's see. Okay, this eyebrow here is darker here, thicker, a little bit lighter here. The eye, I think I got the eye, but the the lid, the eyelid, the lower eyelid is a little bit lighter here. I got a raise. And I see a little bit of a shadow there. Obviously, it has to be a shadow there that makes the face turn. You know, the turns and creates the roughness on the face. Yeah. About the nose, I think I got everything I want on the nose. I got the shadow here. It's not perfect, but, you know, I mean, it's close. Close enough, I think. Another thing about this eye is the shadow here. Okay, gotta be careful with that shadow. I mean, we need to copy those things for the likeness. On the nose, the shadow here. The highlight on the nose, obviously. A little bit darker here on the nostril, around the nostril. Some shadow there. I need light on uh, here on the oh, how do you say cupid bow? Yeah. About the highlight on the mouth, I think I'm gonna use wh the white pastel. I don't think I could get that the highlight on the the lip mm. 
a few times I have tried when I cannot get you know the highlights I have tried acrylic a touch of acrylic and that usually works okay and on top of this if you want to work on details you can pick up graph uh, matte graphite okay which is pretty nice mm. okay uh, I'm gonna I'm doing this to, just to show you all here but I wouldn't do it this now because I think I need I need to put more work on my drawing because one thing for sure after using the matte graphite even that's matte it's not matte as grapha as charcoal or pastel you know that means that if you add a lot of a lot of this graphite at some point you're not gonna be able to put on top of that charcoal again or pastel okay because if I take the paper from my easel and I just tilt it and move it you are gonna see that those areas where I work on the matte graphite are shiny not shiny like with a regular graphite but anyway that's we can see the difference we can see clearly the difference and that means that this is not completely matte okay but but works pretty good okay this pencils work works pretty pretty good I got this uh, pencil from a patron from Nikki. Thank you so much. Okay, about the likeness, I think I think it's pretty close. Well, obviously, we uh, if I start looking for differences, I'm gonna find a lot. Okay, now now that I think I'm closer to the likeness, I'm gonna soften some few things, you know. That's uh, maybe uh, by doing this, I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of the likeness. But anyway, I just want some softness on some areas, uh, and for example, on the on the mouth. eyes a bit ugly my, my hand I don't want a lot of definition on on the eyes when you raise the light on the weight of the eye and again Another thing that I don't want on my final drawing is a darker shadows. For example, look at the shadow below the, the mouth. It's pretty dark on the photograph. Uh, this, uh, what I'm doing now, is personal choices, okay? I want some softness on my drawing. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of values, a little bit of the likeness maybe, but that's what I want. At the end, Everything is just what we want. Okay. Erase a bit here. Keeping the softness. One thing that I could keep sharp, yeah, that would be the nose. That would be here. If I raise about here why because that makes if everything is soft what happens that 
the nose is gonna pop forward okay yeah. well, I think I think I already work here the glo globella yeah, maybe move the shadow a little bit what do you think here narrow this to move this a little bit only raise a bit here Rising here, Okay, I think that's it for today. Um, here too, I'm gonna just knock down here. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit more curvy. And I'm gonna just narrow the mandible. Yeah, just a bit, okay. the lightest light remember to check out tip of the nose then the lip you know the light is here it shouldn't be as bright as the light on the nose yeah I'm checking on all of those things yeah what about the, the ear maybe the ear is too big I gotta move it yeah Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much everybody for being here. Oh, oh Gary Sim, I can't has had my name as Garu. Okay, Gary. Okay. <laughs> oh, good to know. Hello, Manda. 
part of art is wearing uh, wearing it as you create it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Manda. Okay, thank you so much for everybody for being here. Hope you enjoyed it and, and, and you know the video is gonna be here. Okay, I think it's it's gonna be pretty nice if you all can just you know draw along with the video. Las retouches, las retouches. Yeah, that's it. Bye. <coughs> My God, I, as soon as I say bye, I, I see more things too fix like here the last thing that I did here this eye uh, eyebrow I think I gotta light up this shadow a bit just to because it lo looks like the eyebrow is kind of continuing down here and yeah, that's not okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think now it's better. Oh, think and tar <coughs> okay now yeah now I think now it's okay okay I gotta go <laughs> you know if I stay more I'm gonna just continue seeing more and more things that to fix here and, and there yeah I think that's good enough for you know for today okay Bye. Bye, everybody.